Hi guys, so I shared um, the other day a photograph on Instagram of the my little obsession. Um, I'd been frantically making, not frantically, but I'd been really into making some um, ribbon clips of late for my planner and um, someone asked if I could show how to make them and I'm really happy to share how I make them. Um, I always feel like sharing the love so that's what I'm doing today so if you already know how to make them then this video isn't for you but if you'd like to know then keep watching because I'm going to show you um, how I make these clips okay so first off I'm going to say that I am not an expert and I'm really new at this um, I'm also going to say that um, for those of you who are new to my channel or don't know, I did have um, a nasty accident with my left hand back in August and my dexterity is still not quite as good as it was. So if I look like I'm really clumsy while I'm making these, it's because I am and I do find it a little bit fiddly still. So please do bear with me. Um, it's because I still don't have all the dexterity in my left hand. Anyway, so let's move on. I just wanted to say that in case anyone moaned at me. Um, so what you'll need is some paper clips. Obviously you can choose your own, you know, whatever you like. I use gold, I'm using gold because I'm quite into gold at the moment. But you do want larger paper clips. You don't want the small um, little fiddly ones. Well, you can do if you want, but you know, you need to have um, some room to be able to put your clip on. So. You want these big ones rather than these little ones, is what I'm really saying. But if you can do little, want little fiddly ones, you go ahead, my lovelies. So you're going to want a paper clip, obviously. You want to have some scissors. You want some good sharp scissors for cutting your ribbon. And of course, you want some ribbons. Um, these are just kind of bits and barbs that I've had from gift packages and stuff like that that I've saved. I haven't gone and bought specific ribbon. So just, you know, choose a piece of ribbon that you want. I'm just going to go with this nice pink one because it goes with gold and it's nice and bright so you can see it. It's quite floppy ribbon. I find that the thicker and sturdier the ribbon, the more they kind of stand upright and tall uh, and the grippier they are. So this one is like a grained ribbon and it works really, really nicely. Um, this one is like a satiny ribbon and it's quite floppy. So the first thing you need to do is you want to work out how much you want your ribbon to stick out the top um, and then just do it by two and then I give it like a little bit extra just to cover the, the loop, the tie that I'm going to make um, and to cover any um, mishaps. So I just do a diagonal slant so the ribbon doesn't fray. So then I take my ribbon and fold it in half, equal lengths. And I take my clip and the folded bit, I just push through the clip like so. Let's push it through. And then I put my um, finger through the loop like that. Then I take this bit and I pull it through the loop uh, so can you see that it's gone through and then I pull like so and then you've got like a nice little finish there and then you've got your ribbon so it's nice and tall as I say this one's quite floppy because it's satin ribbon but it is does grip quite well if your if your ribbon kind of is quite slippy and loose which this one is then you may want to just use um, some super glue or a hot glue gun and just put like a little dab of glue in there. You don't want to put loads on because then you'll have a massive lump of glue at the back. Um, but you do want to put some on, otherwise your ribbon is just going to keep on um, slipping like that. But that's what it looks. And then you can just trim it down to size if you want it a bit smaller. And you can just do a V in there if you want to. It's entirely up to you. So that's with one ribbon. Obviously, you can do more than one ribbon if you want to. So let's choose another piece. That's quite nice. Anyway, um, so yeah, you can either cut it to the same size or you can have it a different size if you want different lengths or different widths or anything like that. So again, you want to take your ribbon. You want to make sure you choose which you want to play around with it, which one you want to be at the front, which one you want to be at the back. 
and all that kind of stuff. You can do as many ribbons as you can fit through the hole and you can tie. <laughs> and obviously the more ribbons you do, the bulkier it will be at the end. Oops, I did that one wrong. As I said before, my dexterity isn't 100% as good as it used to be. But we, we cope. <laughs> we do most things. doesn't let us bother us. Uh, okay. In through the loopy loop. This is where I start to look very clumsy. <laughs> but there we go. Oh, so as you can see, that one's twisted round. So you just want to make sure that it twists back right round the other way. So I'll do that off camera because you don't need to see me um, clumsying around. Okay, so that's just my um, take on how to make ribbon paper clips. As you can see, they're really, really easy. So I'm sure you can have lots of fun finding out what ribbons you like and what ribbons work better for you and how many you want to put on there and all that kind of thing. For me personally, I find that this... Um, thicker kind of sturdier ribbon works better and I particularly like the ribbed ribbon I find that that's a bit more grippier and I am really enjoying making them this one's got a kink in it because the way it was wound um, the ribbon was wound around some card and so it's got a kink in it but yeah anyway they're lots of fun to make and just a really nice way of you know customizing your planner or your journal or whatever you know whatever so well, that's just how I make it. There may be ways in which you can make it that's different to how I do it. <laughs> but, you know, just experiment and have fun and and play with it. So there you go. I hope that was interesting and useful for you guys. And I expect to see loads and loads of photos now of all your fabulous um, ribbon clips. Thanks for watching, guys. See you soon. Bye. <laughs>